that was a bit of hard work running up the stairs. Blue tack. Now, I had to run and grab some of this from Big One's bedroom wall. Blue tack is so coveted in this house. Honestly, as soon as blue tack comes in, it just disappears. Um, I don't know if you guys are the same. So this next one is blue tack and hand soap, hand wash. Um, again, another sort of not sure how or why this would work. But again, let's see how we go. So I've softened the blue tack up a little bit. Okay, and I'm just going to roll it around. As you can see, I'm just literally... Can you see that? I'm just rolling it around in the soap just to cover it. Okay, that makes it really slippy and difficult to handle. Okay, so if we just pull it, let's get the soap mixing right throughout the tack. Um, yeah, I'm not really convinced on this one. Uh, it's just making it slippy. I suppose it's slimy, but that's not really slime, is it? Um, maybe we need more blue tack, but as I say, blue tack is so coveted in this house that as soon as it comes in, it disappears again. It smells nice. It smells of, what flavour is this? Uh, strawberry. So it smells like strawberries. Um, again, if you're not so good with overpowering smells, just go for neutral fragrances. Um, actually, it feels like it's it's starting to soften up a bit now. Let's put some more some more hand wash on there. So what's happening now is it's it's starting to feel a bit lighter. Um, I guess this is kind of like stress putty almost. Um, so if you just keep stretching and just keep rubbing the, uh, the hand soap through, hand wash, whatever it is that you want to call it, um, it kind of, it makes it into like a nice stretchy, stringy putty. Um, I'm sure if we had more blue tack it would work better. Um, and we can't even pick any blue tack up on the way home because the local pound shop has been shut down in favour of another supermarket, which let me tell you, I'm not happy about because there are already at least three supermarkets within walking distance of where the pound shop was. Um, and now they're opening up a fourth. Um, I don't see the point. We used to love going into the pound shop after school, just picking up stuff for things like this. I mean, you want really cheap stuff if you're experimenting. Okay, so the verdict on this, I quite like it. Um, the hand wash doesn't stay um, wet or slick. Um, as you can see here, this is actually quite dry now. And I think if you just keep stretching it and pulling it, it might even increase the... Um, the size of it. I don't know how it would do that. Maybe it's separating whatever it is the uh, blue tack is made of. But I quite like this. This is the sort of thing I fidget a lot. I'm always fiddling with something and this is kind of something really good to just sit and pull. Um, maybe a good anxiety toy. Um, it's nice and stretchy um, and it doesn't make any mess when you squeeze it in your hands. So that's pretty good. You can add some colouring to it, I suppose, but if you're going to be rolling it around in your hands a lot, see I've got red food dye staining my hands now. I do like this. It makes it really soft, but then I guess you can just do that with Play-Doh. Um, blue tack anyway, if you play with it enough. Okay. Um, I think that's probably all I'm going to do because... Uh, 